Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to How to Your Gavin. I sound a little bit different today. So it's Christmas tomorrow and it seems like the biggest gift I've received is a cold. And it came without a gift note, so whoever did that, please let yourself be known. I would love to thank you personally. I am doing something a bit different today. I really want to get back into bullet journaling. I don't know about you guys, but around about this time, every single year, I get obsessed with watching people bullet journal. And I think it's because of the whole kind of getting the 2022, the new year kind of feel and seeing how people are setting up their journals. I love all of that kind of stuff. So um, I was actually watching Katie Coulson on YouTube the other day and funnily enough she also had a sore throat filming so I thought you know what let's do it Let, let's do the same thing let's purposefully catch a cold so that when I film this video I can literally be dying anyway I should probably tell you what I'm doing right now oh before the title page goes off so I don't really bullet journal I am pretty much a beginner and this is my title page for bullet journal I it, it is what it is <laughs> I used to bullet journal back in, well, I think probably like the end of 2018, start of 2019, and then I started booktubing, and that was a bad idea trying to keep up with that. But I didn't ever do like spreads or anything. It was just like a minimalist kind of bullet journal. And I used to follow a lot of bullet journalers on Patreon and things. So I would like download their spreads and use them. I never had anything original inside me. And I still don't, to be honest, but I I'm giving it a good go this time. So this is essentially me kind of getting into the whole bullet journal thing and hoping upon hope that I can pull it off this year. You know, I mean, 2021 was filled with a lot of hits and misses and I, I kind of want to achieve something. You know what I mean? So this is, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm taking bloody ages. But this is my title page. I hope you like it. And yeah, I did a gold border, which I was going to do on all of the, all of the pages, but then I decided not to because, oh yeah, I remember I paused because it needed to dry. That's, that's good shout. So I thought not to do that on every page because that would have made it take even longer. And yeah, I wanted to do a reading journal and I usually use like spreadsheets and Google Sheets and things like that, which I do love doing. But there's just something about having like a physical journal as well that I just absolutely adore. And I really wanted to get back into that. And I actually bought this bullet journal last year. I bought it for someone for their Christmas, <laughs> for their, I was gonna say birthday, but it was for Christmas and I received it and I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep that myself. So I did, but I I think it was a bit too late for me to want to start bullet journaling then. So I kept it to this year. And did I just, did I just do a whole spread there and just didn't even talk about it? Okay, so um, that spread just before was my 2020, no, 22 channel and reading goals for 2022. And I haven't really filled in that page because I don't really know what they are yet. I want to be filming a video on that soon. So I'm looking forward to that. And okay, this spread takes ages, so I can just waffle on. So yeah, I haven't filled it in because I don't know what's going on, you know. Uh, I never do. I never usually know what's going on. I'm terrible for planning, which is also something that I need a journal for. And I very easily get overwhelmed and stressed. <laughs> so I'm hoping upon hope that doing a bullet journal, I mean, it's going to be stressful. Not going to lie. I am not creative in like, at least artistic in that sense. I I'm, I feel like I'm creative at other things, but being artistic is just not a strong suit for me. So I definitely felt like giving this a go would be like a good challenge and also would hold me accountable for a lot of the things that I have planned and want to do in 2022. Oh my lord, like seriously, this cold needs to go. So yeah, this is my books read in 2022 page and yeah this takes ages and honestly it was the bane of my life this whole drawing thing took two hours like the whole this whole video is two hours long not sped up so you're absolutely bloody welcome but i did it all standing up because i didn't know how bullet journalers did all of this i was like how do they actually film and i just struggled so the entire video my neck back pussy and crack was killing me also, I totally messed up here. I, I kind of catch on in just a second. And th this is when I caught on. Yeah, 
I, I messed up. I was supposed to do less space between the boxes, so I decided to fill in the first two rows so they can see my mistake. <laughs> it was supposed to be two squares for the uh, boxes and then one square between two squares, one square, two squares, but then I ended up just doing two squares. So that was an absolute nightmare, but it's fine because I got my trusty tip -X from <laughs> a pencil case that I had at school and I graduated school in 2008. So good job, it's going strong still. It was dusty, it was a little bit nasty. And a lot of the kind of equipment that I use in this video are old, older shit. Oh, am I allowed to swear in bullet journal videos? Every time I watch a bullet journal video, they never swear, so I'm just like wary of that. But yeah, I was on my feet this entire time and I need to know how to do this a lot more effectively because it killed my back. And I'm not as young as I used to be. I mean, I'm 29, I'm almost 30 and standing up on my feet, I do work retail part-time, but you know, it's Christmas Eve. It's cr where is the joy? Where is the joy? So yeah, this uh, was a whole nightmare to film, but I really wanted to do it. I just wanted to do it, see if I could. And I really want to give this a really good go in 2022. So talking about this spread then, I wanted to do a border on every page. I don't know why, it's, it's just the way it is. And yeah, did a little armchair drawing, a little ink pot on the other corner as well, just to give it a bit more life. I don't have like scrap paper or any of that fancy shit. I just have what I have. I've got what my mama gave me, okay? But I do have washi tape, actually. I do have washi tape. That's kind of fancy. I'll pull that out next time. I'm thinking of doing a January spread. Well, thinking of, I'm definitely doing a January spread. I didn't do all this for naught. So I'm going to be doing that. So I'll save the washi tape for then. Yeah, if I pause as well, it's because I'm muting out all mouth sounds. You're welcome. So for this one, I wasn't actually sure how many boxes this would take up. I had absolutely no idea. And I kind of read over 200 books in 2021. So I can read quite a lot. So I already feel like this whole spread is redundant. Because like, I'm going to end up filling this by June. Mostly because I'm reading all of the Animorph series in January. And there's 54 books in the Animorph series, so I've already filled up nearly the first page. What am I doing? Like, why didn't I do this too? Two pages. I'm kind of glad I didn't because this spread literally kicked my butt. I could try and maybe put something like part one on the top or something, and then maybe halfway through the year do books read in 2022 part two and then carry it on maybe. Maybe that could be a good show. Oh, actually, that is a good idea. Oh, I'm so good. So this will obviously be coloured in when I've read the books and all of that. Oh, yeah, I, I messed up again there. I was thinking in my head, I'm not messing up again, you know. Mess up once, shame on you. Mess up twice, shame on me. So I ended up shaming myself. I apologise. But I do correct it in a bit. So it always comes out in the end. I'm not stressing about making mistakes. I am not in the slightest bothered if the lines are perfect and I mean obviously not because the ruler I have I also had at school when I graduated in 2008 and it's kind of crooked it's kind of crooked so none of the lines are straight but hi I like my rulers how I like myself So yeah, I was just really happy to try and get this spread out of the way, to be honest. I was like, oh my god, hurry up. It's already taken too long now, if you ask me. Like, if I was you, I would skip ahead, not gonna lie. Like, jeez. I will put timestamps in the description box too for you. So you can just skip this bit, honestly. Like, it's, it's so uneventful. But I guess I could talk more about myself. Is that what bullet journalists do during these things? It is, isn't it? I've watched enough to know. They do kind of talk about themselves a little bit as well, you know, just to get to know them a bit better, which I love. I love knowing more about the bullet journalists and I'm just always in awe of how inspiring and creative they are. But about myself, well, I am first and foremost a booktuber, but I also work in a bookshop and yeah, I love reading. <laughs> God, that is terrible. Honestly, if uh, I've seen if, if I was on a dating app right now, nobody would date me, but that's not true. Nobody dates me anyway. <laughs> 
moving on, this spread, I do actually get a lot of arcs because of being a bookseller and for being a booktuber as well, I do get a lot of requests and I get things sent to me. A lot of times I request them myself, but most often than not, I do get a lot unsolicited. But anything that I find interesting or anything that I really want to read, I will put in this spread. And, oh my god, I looked at the camera there and thought I wasn't recording this. Oh my god. So I will fill in each one. So I haven't filled in any of it yet, but I do have a bit of a backlog of arcs. So I think before I do my January spread, I will start filling this in as well, because I do actually have some that are coming out in January. I think maybe two arcs coming out in January that I would like to get to. I don't know how, considering I have 54 Animorphs books to read. However, this is what I love to do to myself. If, look, if I'm not doing something, I'm stressed. But if I'm doing something, I'm stressed. So I might as well be doing something and be stressed at the same time, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, I think what I was doing here as well is consoling myself because I'd wasted a cup of coffee. Oh wait, no, hang on. What What is going on here? Oh, I know, it's because I had to plug the camera in. That's why. Because the camera, battery life on this camera, brand new as it may be, is absolute garbage. So I had to plug it in. Kind of hard to do because the wire is quite short. Anyway, we're not here about that. We hear about this spread, which is year in review. So I think I saw this on somebody's either YouTube channel or I Googled it and it was on images. I will link it down below. I will link all of the bullet journal people who I watch and are inspired by down below too, so you can check them out. Yeah, check them all out. I a bit spaced out on ibuprofen right now to remember who I was inspired by what. So check them all out. I love them all to bits. I love watching them. And yeah, year in review. So I wanted to do a whole yearly rundown. So a whole spread where I could take a look at the year as it goes on and do loads of different things on it. So figure out what I'm reading each month, how much I'm reading each month, how many pages I'm reading each month, kind of um, the middle grades or the young adult or the adult books I'm reading and all of that. So I like having a little table. You'll probably find out this about me soon that I love a table. Every, I think almost every page now has a table. Before Excel, I used to love Word and I used to love making Word tables. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So I also have a bit in the middle of the page there that I couldn't really use because of the whole thread that was binding the book together. So that bit is kind of empty, but that's fine. I also have how many one stars, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars that I'm reading in that month and the average at the end. Cannot remember what this one is. Um, let's find out together. Series tracker, that's it, okay. I recently did a video where I mentioned like over 50 series that I'm in the middle of and while I don't really fill this series tracker out, I want to fill it in with the series that I kind of begin or begin to continue in 2022. So I do fill one in in a minute and it's a series I haven't started yet but I'm definitely reading it in January or at least starting in January and that is the, what does that say? The Greenborn Saga? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Jade City, Jade War, Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. Oh, I kind of went through that quite fast. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing that. I will, yeah, uh, you'll probably see that in a future video, more filled in. Next, we have my YouTube and stuff. So I I'm kind of love kind of seeing the progress of like my numbers and things. Like I find it so interesting. And I just love kind of seeing the growth and progression that I've done over the year. So what I wanted to do here is kind of have a page dedicated to the stats and see it really, you know, start to fill in. And that can kind of inspire me sometimes. And I, I love seeing stuff like that. I mean, we should be our own hype person, if you ask me. Like, I might sound pretty big headed right now, but I, I apologize. I, I'm just out of it, okay? Anyway, yes, I wanted to see how many subs I gained, how many subs I started the month on, kind of. Um, I literally can't say what the hell that says, to be honest. I know there was like watch hours, total views, and I'll be filling that in throughout the year. 
and then I start to do Instagram and oh yeah I <laughs> snapped a pencil all of the pencils too were from like circa 2008 you know I have no good equipment for bullet journaling but I'm still gonna give it a good go anyway but yeah I'm not really the best drawer so this was my attempt at Instagram and my goal on Instagram is to get to 10,000 followers so I can get that cool little swipe up feature But yeah, I am at GavGav7. If you want to follow me on Instagram, that would be awesome. I don't post a whole lot, but when I do, it's worth it. Look, quality over quantity every day. I would love to be a bit more of a bookstagrammer and post photos of books, but I kind of do like posting a selfie every now and then, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Self-love is gonna be my 2022 motto. And I should have put that in the bullet journal actually, but I only thought of it now. So now we're getting on to Twitter, which I am at the GavGav7. I don't know why it's different. I don't know. My old one used to have a year in it, so I thought better change that because it was redundant after a year. So that changed shop. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to also say how many subs I start each mother start each month on or followers and just see how it goes from there. I also forgot to add in the months on the Twitter table. Don't worry, I saw that. I will add that in a little later. So now my Patreon book club. And I do have a Patreon. It is linked down below if you want to join us. You can join us for as little as £3 per month. And it's a really cool time. I love spending time with my patrons so much. We have like four to six live shows a month. We have a book club together as well, which is why I have done a spread for it. Because we read one middle grade book a month and one either young adult or adult book per month and that's yet yeah, two per month so i will also fill this in more like the more i know i don't actually know what we're reading in january yet we will decide together but i'm excited to see what it turns out to be so i will end up printing out book covers and putting them in am i hitting puberty or is this a cold i do not know so yeah i will be putting like the month in and what the books are the author names and maybe a star rating if I can. I'm going to see how this spread unfolds. It's very, I don't know, it's very up in the air at the minute. Uh, so next is, oh thank god, the final, final spread so far. And this will be before the monthly spreads begin. And this is my writing journal. So I also do a lot of writing because <laughs> I hate having a rest, apparently. And this is going to be tracking the current work in progress that I'm working on. And I am writing a kind of young adult, almost new adult. I'm going to cough. I'm so sorry. Kind of historical romance. So it's set during World War II. And two guys, they are in love, but they are drafted into the war. So will war tear them apart or bring them together? And I am writing it on Wattpad. I absolutely love Wattpad. I wrote a story that was like a gay Titanic retelling a couple of years ago and it won a Wadi Award and that's awesome like I was so proud of myself and I wanted to kind of follow that up with another almost tragic love story but I mean if it's tragic or not you're gonna have to read and find out I will also link my Wattpad down below but I've done five chapters of it so far and I want to use this table to kind of fill in by saying how many chapters I've written and, and I don't even know if that's the right word, written, wrote, I don't know, and kind of keep progress on my chapters. And so I will put in the chapter title, I will put in the word count, whether I've done it or not, and then hopefully, hopefully, I will love seeing the progress unfold. And it, it's going to take some time to fill in this bloody table, honestly, Jesus Christ. Also, skip ahead if you, oh yeah, I also went a little bit too far ahead on the line, so I got the tip X out. Trusty tip X, honestly, you could use it on anything. I'm sure there's something a lot better that you can use it, well, can use to get rid of something. So also, if you guys decide to subscribe or anything, I promise I will kick this cold's butt and next time I will not be as weird and I will hopefully sound better. But also give this video a like if you enjoyed and if you want to see more bullet journal content from me, I cannot wait to see how I progress. I am genuinely excited to do this endeavor and hopefully by December, I've become a lot better at it. 
hopefully, hopefully, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, this was pretty much my bullet journal. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below. Let me know if, well, if you have a favourite spread. Who am I kidding? You don't. But <laughs> let me know down below if you watched. I would love to talk to you guys. But yeah, here's a little flip through of the entire start of it. And the camera also died right after. So there isn't really a wrap up. So just enjoy. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>